That's all you've got, right? Yeah. Does that have more batteries? Oh, yeah. Retrosynthesis, yes? Mm -hmm. And we are doing excellent on the time, are we not? No. We're not? I'm just kidding. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, right now I am going to give you stuff and you tell me how to make it. Mm -hmm. I have been teaching you how to make things, yes? If you have wasted your time, you are in trouble. But let's do the easy ones first, yes? I want you to tell me how to make this from any two carbon containing compound or less. less than two carbons, yes? Mm -hmm. You cannot use anything with three carbons. Don't say anything, okay? Just keep your mouth shut. That starting from anything that has two carbons or less. Okay. Oh. I don't want you to say anything. Keep your hole quiet. Sophia, you are trying to do this by yourself, my friends. I'm not. I'm trying to ask her for help. Exactly. Don't. I don't want you to ask anybody for help. I want you to try. That is the purpose of thinking. Maria already went through this. Exactly, so I have an advantage. Vista, you did it? This is the beginning, yes? The idea behind this, we gotta make this from stuff that is two carbons or less. So here we have an alkyne, and the alkyne can 
elongate the chain by doing these reactions, yes? Mm -hmm. So I can put these two carbons mm -hmm. by doing the chain elongation, yes? Mm -hmm. And it's only two. Mm -hmm. If there were three here, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. But it's only two here. Mm -hmm. That would be another two. And then you elongate on the other side with another two. Mm -hmm. So what do you start with? You have two choices. You can either work <coughs> backwards or you can start by thinking, okay, we always need the triple bond. Mm -hmm. We're going to work backwards, okay? okay. You ready? Here's a triple bond. I'm going to clip this here, and I am going to clip this here. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I clip that here and here, what do I form? I form this triple bond, which you know they have to have H's on it. Yes. If I clip this here, I am going to form CH2, CH3. Mm -hmm. What is that supposed to have on it if I need it to react with a triple bond to form this chain elongation? A name. A what? A name. A name. Mm -hmm. You need the top part. Oh, yeah, you need to have the PR, but you also need the top portion. What top portion? There's no top portion. We are separating this. This needs to be BR. By the way, this can be BR, I, or CL. Yeah. So, here's what we are going to need. Okay. So, in the first reaction, we are going to have an odd kind. This is the alkyne we are going to have. And now is when we do our steps. In the first step, I am going to add this. Mm -hmm. And what is this going to do? It's going to make... CH2CH3BR. It's going to make what? CH2CH3BR. CH2CH3BR. I'm asking when this with this, what is it going to oh, make? Nucleophile. Nucleophile. Oh, so, and then I'm going to add to this CH3, CH2, BR. Okay? And that is going to make the chain bigger on this side by those two carbons. And then I'm going to repeat this, and I'm going to make it bigger on the other side. And that is going to give you that. Did you like that type of idea? Yeah. You loved it? Yeah. Now you can go to your house when you are finished with my class and you can make methamphetamine and sell it. <laughs> Does it have to be the BR only or you can switch it? One BR and one BR? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, let's do another one, okay? Same thing. Start from any two or less carbon containing compounds. And this is what I want to make, my friends. <clears throat> this class is supposed to get worse than this. No wonder you took this class with the easiest professor ever. Guys, you did it? No? What? Okay. I wrote something about this. As long as you tried, okay? If you didn't try, that's not okay.
Those that didn't try are going to fail my class. Okay, here's the idea. Yeah. You got to work back words, yes? Mm -hmm. Where do I get from all the reactions you have learned in this class so far, how many of them make carbonyls? Excuse me? How many? Kind of a problem, yes? How many? Two, what are they? Also analysis. Okay. Okay. So we can get one from also analysis, but then preparing things from also analysis might be a problem because you lose half of your molecule, yes? Unless it's symmetrical. So you're right. Okay. We can prepare from there. But okay, what else? From the enol keto, yes? Yes. Hydroboration, oxidation, or yeah. oxymercuration, oxymercuration demercuration. Which one of those will give you an aldehyde here at the end? Hydroboration. 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 Hydroboration, oxidation. Yeah. So, if I had what, would it give me this? From what and what? Hydroboration, oxidation, and, and what other reagent? Here. An alkene? A terminal. A terminal alkyne. Now, since we have to start with how many carbons do we have to start with? Two. two. two or less. We have to start with two or less. That means that our compound has to begin with two carbons, and then what does it have to do? Hi, it has to grow. Mm -hmm. Yes, if it has to grow, I have to start with a triple bond. Yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I only know how to make a carbon chain longer with only one reaction from this class, which is called retrosynthesis. No, it's not called retrosynthesis. Retrosynthesis is what the topic chain is. Chain addition. This is chain allocation with this odd kind of thing. Okay. All right. So, where was the triple bond here on this carbon? Yes, mm -hmm. it was a terminal odd kind. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. We got to here, from here, with what else? What else? CH2, CH3. CH2, CH3. Yeah. Now, this chain was elongated because it couldn't begin with this amount. How do we go from here to there? From here to there, we do BH3, yes? Mm -hmm. Anton Akornikov, BH3 and? And before this, we must have, have done some chain elongation, which means I'm going to clip this here. Yeah. And what we are going to have is the triple bond. In the first step, this. And in the second step, that. That's how you make that. Now, you could have made this from this thing. Let's say hydrogen here, hydrogen here, and then analysis on this one, we would get that one and we would get two molecules, right? We just put oxygens here. There will be aldehydes. That would be correct, but how do you make this? You had to elongate the chain. Let's say we do, uh, this is trans here, yes? Mm -hmm. So in order for us to have trans, we needed lithium or sodium and the ammonia. Mm -hmm. So I can make this trans from the triple bond, yes? So I could have a triple bond and then make this. I can do that. But then how do I make this bigger here if I am not allowed to use three carbons? I can't do it. If you were allowed to use three carbons, then you can do it this way. 
meaning that there is not only one correct way. You can do it in different ways. If you're right, I give you credit. Okay? Because retrosynthesis, it's not just what I think. It's what you can come up with if it is correct. You want to do another one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's do another one. And you like them simple like this, yes? Mm, I don't know about this last one. Huh? Wait, so that one that you just I don't know about this last one. What happened? That one that you just drew that you can't do anything because it's really Oh, yeah, that one that you, I drew, you cannot, I'm saying what she said. She said ozonolysis. Mm -hmm. You cannot do it from ozonolysis. Many of you are going to cry for the rest of the week until Thursday. Damn, I'm sure. Because I feel like crying, I'll say the truth. <laughs> I already started crying. I mean, I feel bad for what you guys have come. I mean, I'm serious. Like, now I am regretting teaching this class. That's the type of feeling I have for you guys. That's how much I love you. <laughs> I feel your pain. Come on guys, we have at least 10 more to do. Hurry up. You don't know? Because? By the way, can you do any of these retrosynthesis things without having memorized to the smallest detail the rest of the reactions? No. You cannot. So when it comes to the synthesis part, the end of the test will be mechanisms and synthesis. When it comes to the synthesis part, if you don't know all the reactions, then just skip it, okay? Skip it. <laughs> <laughs> just fail. Yeah, I mean, when it came to my time, when my professor had synthesis, retrosynthesis, I skipped it. I <laughs> got your F. That's why I got my F, and now I'm trying to feel, make you feel the same. Okay? So, where did this come from? Huh? An epoxide, where did it come from? I don't know, but I know that we use MCPBA. Yeah. And that is called methachloroperoxybenzoic acid. Hydrooxylation? Hydrooxylation. No, this is not in hydrooxylation. Really? Huh? Really? What do you mean hydrooxylation? Like um, a reaction. You're not the one that forms it for oxide, it's not hydroxylation. The one that you get it for oxide, it's not the hydroxylation. Hydroxylation, though. Hydroxylation is osmonium hydroxide. Oh, okay. You get a cis dye. Yeah. Okay. So, the MCPBA. MCPBA to what? B2, huh? MCPBA to what? An alkene, an alkyne, or an alkane? Alkyne. Alkene. There it is. An alkene. I must have started this thing with an alkene. It appears to me that the alkene was cis. Does it not? 
How do you get a cis alkene from what? From a triple bond. Then doing what? Okay, we're not talking about getting bigger yet, okay? We are talking about the alkene being cis. What do we get this cis from? H2 and Lindlar's catalyst. It will stop at the alkene. If you use hydrogen and palladium, it's not going to stop at the alkene. This will stop at the alkene and it will be cis. cis. What else? Where did the cis alkene come from? Remember, I got to begin this thing with two parts. I got to cut this thing forever. This is where the triple bond was. Okay? That's where the triple bond was. On one side, I have CH2CH3. And on the other side, I have CH3. Where did this come from? Chain elongation, yes? I am going to make this from the alkyne. And in the first step, sodium on this business and CH3 Br for one side. And I am going to repeat the same step we have been repeating so far, but this time is CH3, CH2, BR. And that's one, two, three steps. Still Mickey Mouse, yes? <laughs> we like to keep this to about five to seven steps on the test. So, but we are working our way there, okay? By the end of this class, you will do it. By today? Or if there was a last year. By today? Wait, so, where, so what does MCPBA go under? <coughs> like hydrogenation? Like epoxide. 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 Oh, epoxide. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was my question. What? Yeah. 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 Does it not? Like you can do the bottom part. Yes, you can. Yeah, right? Yeah. 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 Guys, another one? Yeah. All right, let's do it. That's exciting. <laughs> Two carbons or less, that doesn't mean that on the test you're going to have two carbons or less. On the test I may give you a break and three carbons or less.
Try it, yes or no? Okay. All right. Once again, all the reactions, they need to be on your head, okay? And I mean, you should have learned them long time ago because it's not easy to extract in a moment's notice. What do you notice here? There is two OHs. You don't know a lot of ways of putting OHs in things, right? These OHs are not only OHs, they are what to each other? Trans. They're trans to each other. That Did that come from, uh, let's say, osmonium tetroxide? Yeah. No. 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 That's okay. the same. It did, did, did not come from osmonium tetroxide. This must have come from an epoxide. Okay? Because if it comes from an epoxide, it will be trans. If it comes from an osmonium tetroxide, it will be on the same side, they'll be cis. Okay? So, this came, this stuff came from an epoxide. So, I'm going to write the epoxide. Here's a carbon for the epoxide. You agree? Yeah. Towards the back is a hydrogen, towards the front is the CH3. Towards the back is a hydrogen, towards the front is the CH3. How's that? Mm -hmm. And we go from here to here by just the addition of what? H3. H3O plus. This H plus is protonating that, mm -hmm. and the water is attacking, and this thing is open. Yep. Okay? Mm -hmm. Very simple. It is opening because this is severely strained. Yes? Yeah. All of these cyclopropanes will open like a flower. Okay. And then what? How did we make the epoxide? MCPBA. MPPBA? MCPBA. <laughs> MPPBA. All right. So we make the epoxide from that. What else? To give you the alkane. Draw the alkane. This came from? Alkane. They are all what? Alkane. 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 Okay. So this came from the alkene, yes? Yeah. What type of alkene should I draw? H. 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 You like this? Yeah. 
I came from this. It's a cis alkene. Mm -hmm. Where did the cis alkene come from? Mm -hmm. That's right, Lynn Lars Catalyst. Mm -hmm. And where did this come from? It has to have two carbons. This came from? This came from <laughs> chain elongation, yes? Yeah. <laughs> so, we have this thing came from this thing that has two carbons. Mm -hmm. And in the first step, we added mm -hmm. NaNH2. NaNH2, which will give you pneumonia. <laughs> <laughs> Once it's done, CH3, BR, BR, and then and then NH2 and CH3, BR. Yeah. How many steps is that? One, two, three, four. I don't know. So that's how it was going to end? What? Or how it began, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the purpose of this, right? Because chain elongation. It doesn't have to be always that way. It can give you this, look. Which I am not doing a lot of, yes? Did you see that? No, you didn't. Even if you did, you just forgot about it. <laughs> Tell me where to make that from. Now, this is not two carbons or less, okay? This is just... Yeah, I'll see that. It doesn't matter. You tell me where it began. Hydroxylation. This is what you were supposed to do on your flashcards. Mm -hmm. You were supposed to do this on your flashcard. And in the back of your flashcard, you have the answer to this. So when you look at the flashcard, all the information is not there, right? <laughs> some of the information is there, some is not. This will be in the front. That way you know, okay, cis, yes? Yeah. That came osmonium tetroxide, mm -hmm. which is O5O4. <laughs> That's what we agreed it was, O5O4. And what else? Yeah. And an odd key. Mm -hmm. That's him. Where did that come from? The same thing. No, it's not the same thing. The same thing as what? Oh, you meant the same thing as the one on top? Oh, yeah. <coughs> like we did that 20 minutes ago. We just did this, on guys. We do that at C, P. So, what we are going to do is. The no. same thing, yes? You said the same thing. No. In the first step, what are we going to do? MCPPA. By the way, please, don't disrespect my class by writing this. MCPPA. This is not capital M. Okay? This is lowercase italics M. You see it? It's lowercase italics? I don't know about italics. You don't know about italics, but it's not a capital, yes? It's not capital. It means meta. So it's not a... It's not capital, okay? It's a little one. So, MCPBA and then? H3O plus. I got to tell you, don't you love it? Chemistry, organic in 
mean, when I when I started doing organic chemistry, I dumped my girlfriend, <coughs> and then this is what I started doing. Sleeping with her every day. All right. Let's go simple, yes? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Guys, you pass around the attendance today? No. Why not? You didn't ask me. Are you guys excited? It's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow we have the best lab ever. Yeah. <laughs> organic lab? You don't like the organic lab? Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love them. I'm overcompensating for the lab, aren't I? Got to do a lot, a lot there, right? Just so I can do it here, right? Where are you going? You got a small black. Yeah. Actually, uh, Luis La Viste, man. I'm Chase. Oh, you're Chase? What are you chasing? <laughs> so, what happened to your bladder, man? Nothing. One class. <laughs> but the infection go away. You haven't gone five times like you did last week. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, so there is a halogen, yes? Yes. What type of halogen is this? Geminal dihalide. Where do we get a geminal dihalide from? Hydrohalogenation. Outstanding. I like the course. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like giving you extra credit already. Hydrohalogenation of what? Alkyne. An alkyne. What type of alkyne should that be? Where do I put the double bond? I mean the triple bond. Do I put the triple bond here, here, or here? In the <coughs> Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't? Why not? Hello? Huh? <laughs> now let's okay, let's leave it like that, okay? Let's not go crazy on this day. Yeah, well, it does matter because hydrohalogenation is what type of reaction? It doesn't in this case, but it does matter. What type of reaction is it? It follows McCarnikoff addition. So if you wanted this bromine to go on the second carbon, most of the time you want to have the triple bond at the end. So when you add McCarnikoff addition, the hydrogen will add to the one that has already the carbon. If not, which is not the case here, right? If not, it could add to the inside carbon. For example, if I make the triple bond here, it could add to this one or to this one. It happens that here is the same whatever way you go, so it doesn't make a difference. But if this chain were longer, you should not be making the double bond here, because then this will have bromines in the third carbon. Mm -hmm. Okay, is that clear? Can you see that? Again? Now let's finish it. I won't do it. Okay.
Okay. We can. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what to do for this one. Not yet. So, this came from an alkyne. I am going to write the alkyne at the end because I wanted to follow my Kornikoff addition. I'm going to write the CH2, CH3. And I don't have a problem because since I have to use two carbons in this case, I have no problem doing this. Okay? Now, how do I go from here to here? H, Br, two moles of HBr, okay? Or I can say excess HBr. And I go there. How do I make this chain? I do chain elongation here. So, triple bond. In the first one, this, and in the second, okay? Yes or no? What about the CH3? You do it again, right? No, no, no. The CH3 <coughs> is when you do HBr, the H will go here. One H is going to go here, and one Br here. And the second H is going to go here, and the second Br here. This is that H. This is that H. And these two are these two. You guys throwing a mental fit ball, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say, synthesize the target. This is this one down below. From any unsaturated hydrocarbons two carbons or less and any length Alkyl halide. So the alkyl halide, you can have whatever length you want. Guys, how are we doing on the time? So how are we doing on the time? Are we doing the time? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> so we have been reviewing, yes, have we not been? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? We have been reviewing all our organic reactions by doing this retrosynthesis. So I have been helping you for next week with this retrosynthesis, yeah? Except for when the problem comes, which means you just missed it. Okay, you guys want to add one more? Let's add one more.
Okay, guys, well, you look depressed, okay? What's this? This is a germinal dihalide. Where did this come from? Excess HBR. And what else? Yeah, what other reactants? HBR with what, guys? Give me that. With an alkyne, yes? Mm -hmm. Is it too late? Maybe it's too late. We just, we're going to stop that. Where do I put the alkyne? Do I put it here or do I put it here? You said to put it on that side, but how do you put it on that side? What do you mean? How? I go like this. I put it already on that side. See how easy that was? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just put it on that side. What do you mean how? Speak. No, because I remember like you were saying up there for that one. <coughs> you said something like don't put it in the middle because it's just going to make it longer. So isn't that in the middle? Okay. No, this is not in the middle. This is in the, in, the, in the far corner or whatever you want to call this. This is at the end. If we put it here, look. If we put the triple bond here. We can also put the triple bond here, yes? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five carbons. One, two, three, four, five carbons. One, two, three, four, five carbons, yes? Mm -hmm. If we put it here and we do this reaction, what happens? Is there any Markovnikov addition here? Mm -hmm. This carbon is nope. an internal carbon. Yeah. It will put the bromines here. Yeah. As often as he's going to put them here. Mm -hmm. And if he puts them here, it's not what we want. No. So they can't be here. So we can't use this one. This is why I told you that if it is on the second carbon, here it didn't matter. But if it is on the second carbon, then you want to make the triple bond a terminal triple bond. Okay? Because if not, it'll give you two products. And, and it's not that you can't do it. You can do it. I'm just, if you have this choice and you don't take it, and you give me this that gives you a mixture of things, I'm going to take off points. Now, if you have no choice but to use this, because I asked you for something that you couldn't do it clean like this, then it's fine. I give you all the points. Okay? So it's not that you can't do this. It's just that if you have this, it's better than this. So then you cut it, so then from that one you're going to cut it. I am going to cut it here. So, and then this came from what? This came from this. But this is three carbons, yes? Mm -hmm. But I said any length alkyl halide. Mm -hmm. Because I said any length alkyl halide, you can do this now. Because I said any length alkyl halide. Mm -hmm. We should call that a day, right? Mm -hmm. Guys, the exam is coming next week, okay? You are going to take this serious, yes? Yes? I don't have a review. You have the videos to review them over and over until all you hear is me singing in your dreams. So, how many questions are we going to have on this? I have no idea, but a lot. Everything. Then Alkin's all like what? Guys, listen. You have. <laughs>